We go to Alochas, and the Philos of Payam Aloch Vav, we're holding by Sif Zayn. So we said that it is the Averis that cause uh, the Aloma, the concealment of Shem's presence, and vice versa. It is the Averis that cause Hashem to conceal himself because <coughs> Hashem is hidden in everything in the Bria, in everything. Uh, but Hashem has created the world in such a way that, as we learn in the story, wherever it is that you look, this is what you see. If you look onto this world with the eyes of this world, you'll see what you want to see. If you look in, onto this world with the eyes from the perspective of Olam Abba, you'll see something else completely. You can understand even more simply when, when, when a couple has an argument. You know, like right now they have this big Indian about this, this ex clarity woman who committed suicide and, and whatever it is with the family, whatever it is, and everybody's blaming everybody. Nobody, nobody, even the people involved, know the truth. Only Hashem knows the truth. From either side. But it's plastered all over the newspapers, and everybody and his uncle is, has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. The keys, man. Dude. The keys, man. That's it. I'm taking over the keys. I've decided. Well, the water's not even ready. I decided I'm taking over the keys. Is that live? That's it. Is yes, it, live? it is. It's live. <laughs> well, nobody sees you. They see me, but. They hear me give you the, the wash down. Any, <laughs> anyhow, be that as it may. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. If you choose, you know, if there's an argument between a couple, okay, you know, those on his side see how he's completely right. And those on her side yeah. See how she is completely right. You have a disagreement with your boss. You, the you see things from your side, you're completely right. Your boss sees things from his side, and he's completely right. Which means this is from you know whichever way you you look, this is what you see. Now. The thing is that you can't see both sides. It's either this or that. As Rabbeinu says in 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 Torah Chafalef Ba'alosha, and and if you close your eyes, you close your ears, and you close your mouth, you know, you know, the, you subjugate your nose and your, and your mouth to the amos to to a muna, then you have to begin as kedem. If you don't, if you choose to look in this world, you can only see things from the point of view of this world. And as we said, it works like this. It works from both ways. A various bring about blindness. You don't see a kaddish baruch because a various turns your point of view to see things this way. And mitzad sheni. You know, the Hastara of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is thing that enables the various to begin to be, to just to begin with. So the Tikkun, the Tikkun is in the star, in the Ayin, in the Keser, in the, where only a the, 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 the Mamar Sasa, in the Bereshis, which is Ayin, which is seeking. Seeking the truth. So, you know what I, mean? I know that you're there. I know that you're there. I know that you're there. Where are you? So Moshe Rabbeinu says, 
Look, Am Yisrael made the Chet Ego. Okay? That was something that was overt. Everybody saw, everybody knows. We have a, we have a Kalal, Kavodila Achel Ha'etem. You know, you, you, from, from the exposed Ma'amores, you cannot get Chayas. So all the Din comes from there. Immediately, I mean, you can't do this and get away with it. So Moshe says, I mean, if you can't, if you don't atone them, if that story is so big, I want to go into total Astara and keep on looking for your Rachamim there until I find them. Because I know, Rabbi Nishan said, that your Rachamim have no end. There's no end to your Rachamim. So the Kodesh Baruch Hu, Taki agreed. And that was the Amtok, and not only, not only that this resoluteness, this Akshonas, that Bevada Yesh, Bevada Yesh, Bevada there is, Bevada there is, that uh, Hashem revealed the 30 meters of Rachamim, which is, uh, um, conduit, uh, uh, an interface, uh, a transmission that enables, enables the world to, to bring about Rachamim from beyond time and place, from Keser, from the highest Madriga, V'chanot Yashar Achom V'chanot Yashar Rachim, all the way down to, to this world. 30 meters for Achim. And he says, This is the breakage of the Luchas. Go ahead, pour it in. Don't, don't be ashamed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Steering where the fork is, is, is you know, it's, it's clear what to stir and what not to stir. What to stir, you have the, what not to stir is the, in between the, oh, in between the hall, you know, it's like a very sophisticated. This is the breakage of the luchos. The ten dibras in the luchos. That's the totality of Torah. That's the open mamor. Aval Shab Veracious, but over there in the Veracious Mama Sosum, Hakol Be'el Be'ester. Everything is totally concealed and totally hidden. Akshe Be'em is Misham Daikan Mishach Kolotir, because, but the truth is that that is the source of the entire Torah, Shem Kolotir, Sabirdis. All the Ten Commandments come from there. Shem Prinas Asar Mamor. It's interesting. We'll, we'll see if, if he talks about Asama Amoras, we're only talking about nine, which are Nigla, right? The tenth one is Nistar. And here he's saying that all the tenth Debras, all the Asama Amoras, that they come from Mama Sosom. So we'll have to understand how this. We'll see if he explains this. Valken, Shechot Yisrael, when Am Yisrael. Sin. And Moshe Rabbeinu understood Shekol Tikkunum is what? Is to look for Kodesh Baruch Hu and to beseech a Kodesh Baruch Hu and look for him. Aye, Kanal, where are you? Achi Iskula, Los Lebchinas Mamar Sosom. Until they'll be able to go into a state of Mamar Sosom. It's one of the things that we keep on repeating, and it's such an abstract notion that we need to repeat it again and again and again. We learn in turn of all that before a person does tshuva, he, his entire existence is bevchinas hastoros play eke, the hiding of the face of the keser of eke, which has a, a, a Kabbalistic expression is a formula 
Aleph, Aleph K, Aleph K Yud, Aleph K Yud K. Which means that the spiritual situation of a person can be defined in a formula. Like you can take a substance, you can express it in a formula. Okay? Something is made out of, you know, if it's made out of water, you know, so, so it's, it's H2O, so this is what it is. That's the formula of water. This is H2O. When a person, before he does shuva, he's in a state that can be expressed in a formula. And when a person, and we said that Storos Pnei Eke is Gimatri Adam, that's the reason why a person, you know, is subjected to Shfich Adam and Bizyanis. You know, to bloodshed and, and, and to humiliation. Because that's the physical result and manifestation of anybody who is in a state of a star spinaken. And it says, and when a person is Shemea Bizyoyna Yidu when a person hears his humiliation and degradation <coughs> and keeps mum and keeps quiet, his Mahapach Dam. Ladon becomes Eke. Eke is Tshuva. As it says, what is Eke? In Hebrew, the word Eye means I'm going to be. It's a promise. So it says, when a person doesn't do what Hashem wants from him, it is better for this person not to have existed at all, not to have been born. Because he's just going to pay the price. You know? But when a person does tshuva, wow, in this world there's a lot to gain. So when a person does tshuva is when he's taking the spiritual bus from you better off not having to be born to wow, it's a great thing that you were born. Okay? So what does it mean? I'm here, like it's better I should be born. It's like I don't exist. The Shoei B'chaim Kuri Mason, you know. <coughs> we're going to call dead while they're still alive. It's, so it's like you don't exist, Lamaisa. And you say, I'm going to exist. I'm on the way from misery to happiness, to happiness today. I'm, I'm going to be. But, so when a person does tshuva, he is in a state that can be expressed in a formula of Ekin. Hey, yeah. It's the H2O of your state. And it has ramifications. Yizach and the Kovad Eloki, which is the opposite of, of the degradation and so forth and so on. The same thing is over here. When a person is searching for Kaddish Baruch I mean, in the darkness, I don't see anything, I don't see any results. I'm the same Bob I always used to be. And, and nothing changes. Supposedly nothing changes. But I'm looking for you, Bon Shalom. What can I do? What, what should I do? What can I do? I mean, I'm trying to get over, you know, my, my inclinations, and I can't do it. I mean, I can do it for a day, but then I fall down for two days. You know, and, and maybe I can keep up for two days, but then for a whole week, I'm panting. I can't believe for two days I kept on, you know, not doing the shtusim that they did. But each one according to his little, you know, you know, uh, 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 nest of horns that he had, of hornets that he has in his backpack. Whoa, 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 what a mixture of metaphors. Okay, forget about it. Anyhow, be that as it may. When you're searching for a Kodesh Baruch Hu, you are in a state of ayah. You're spiritually in a state of ayah. When you're in a state of Aye, you are automatically bringing about Chayas. To no matter where you are. You are Bivchinas Aye. We understand that, you know, I am, you know, I'm where I am, whatever it is. You know, I'm a physical being, whatever it is. And I can have like a state of mind. It can be very spiritual, it can be very intellectual, 
but that my whole being can be expressed in a formula. What I am can be expressed in a formula is such an abstract concept that it takes repeating it again and again and again and again until, until you wrap your mind around it. What do you mean I'm what do you mean a state of a star player? I, I am in a state of a star player. Like, what, what does it mean? But you repeat it and then and, and then you understand. You can understand when somebody has a certain, you know, the, you know, the, a certain point of view, he's a leftist. He's in, his entire Mahus with a Kavioho from his point of view is a leftist. But over there, it's Chesonia Chitonius de Kazakh. It's not a spiritual thing. It's just Thomas silly opinion. Like as if he knows what's best. Stamps to you. It's it's nonsense. <clears throat> it's only when it has to do between you and a Kodesh Baruch Hu, that where you are, what you do, the decisions that you make, that determine which state you are. You're either a Storis Pneek, or you're an Eke, or you're an Aye, and so forth and so forth. So that's it. When Amisrael sent. Moshe Beno understood the entire tikkun is to seek the Kodesh Baruch Hu, Pchinas Ayeh. At she is kula lo is le Pchinas Ma'amar Sassam. Until they be able <coughs> to get up and reach the Pchinas of the hidden Ma'am. At Ken Shobar Esa Luchas, that's the reason why he broke the Luchas. He broke the Luchas Shem Aser Sadibras Klala Torah. He broke the Luchas. The Aser Sadibras are the total of the Torah. Lemais Moshe Ben broke the Torah. Mikol Vakol. Moshe Ben Ohev. Kviyochel canceled himself out. It was misbattled. He, he totally. Vesilek Mimenu Kola Chochmas Akolim Shivim Ponim Shal Torah. And he wiped away from himself, wiped off all the understandings, all the comprehensions, all the, the, the ideas, everything from all the 70 facets of the Torah. And he dropped himself down to where Amisra was. He just came from the Shemaim. He learned the term of Kaddish Baruch. He received the entire Torah from Kaddish Baruch. And he dropped everything to drop himself down, all the way down to where Amisrael were. Aladir, you know, he, he dropped himself where Amisrael were, where they, they, they fell because of the Averis. Shazel sod nefilasapayim. That is the mystery and secret behind nefilasapayim. Alom asponim. And this is the thing that brought about the tikkun. Hashem is Baruch Shibayach Ato, or the Kodesh Baruch Hu praised him for it. He says, "Ilech Psala Chaluches." I mean, we told Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, carve out two new tablets instead of the Shtei Chaluches Asher Shibayach Chazal said, "Why did he say Asher Shibayach And that you broke. You know, in Hebrew, in English, you, you can't really translate it that well. Asher Shabbat, you could have said it. <clears throat> you can say instead of Asher Shabbat, Asher Shabbat is an extra word. You could have just said the same thing by adding a letter to the word Shabbat, to, to the word broke. To, <clears throat> the closest way I can translate it to English is instead of saying, you know, carve out two new tablets to replace the two tablets that you broke. Kodesh Baruch Hu said, uh, um, the two tablets you broke. Instead of that you broke. Asher is that. So what is the shadow? You can say the two tablets, the, the two tablets you broke. And you tell me that you broke. What if they said the, the that? What if they the ash the asher shibarta? So Chazal said the Kadosh Baruch Hu told him Ashrecha shibarta. 
how meritorious you are that you broke them. It is an unbelievable self-confidence to trust his own koyach. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable power to trust himself to the point that he drops himself he takes all the pun of the tire and he drops all the way down to where you are, removing all the faces, all the facets of the tire. Shubhina Shvira Saluchas. Ki Moshe Ba'asma Ula Tayra, Moshe Ba'asma, Moshe Ben is the tire. And when he threw the luchas from his hands and broke them, it's like he threw and, and, and himself, Mishamayim La'aretz, from heaven to earth. And Eva, Kol B'Shvil Tev Yisrael, everything is for L'Tev of Am Yisrael. Ki Yachazek B'Koychei, because he was so powerful and strong, and his Koych. Shedaika Al-Dei Zeh, it does come through this, and the Arida Gdoilo, this great descent that he had, Shehi Pil Barari Ditzat, Smanash Shvil Yisraeluchas, that he dropped himself, and he, he, he took himself down through the, the breakage of the Luchas, Dafka with this, he will get up to the highest madriga that there is. And he will look and he will search so much ayin, you know, refuse to accept now as an answer. Literally. Until he will get down the, the descent. <coughs> Sorry about that. That's the purpose of, of the descent is getting ever higher. And because the strength, the Koyach of Moshe Rabbeinu, was so immense that he was Zoycha to this, and he got the second Luchas, and he brought down 30 meters of Rachel on top of that. He has paved a way and showed a way to make tshuva, no matter what, forever and ever. She becholes she plul avoy neschas v'shalom at any time that Am Yisrael will fall into avoy neschas v'shalom. They'll be strong to search and look for Kodesh Baruch Hu mikol makom shem b'fikinas aichem. Al deizei sapech lema yerida laliy gadoy lo. And that will turn the Yerida to great, great Aliyah. Let them be strong in this. Just keep on searching. No matter what. As they say, just any which way, for it, no matter, no, 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 you know, no holds barred. No, nothing. In Yushba Elam Klaal. Even if, man, I'm just, just like decades already <coughs> doing this. In the bitterness of this particular Golos, there's his Gabro, uh, the, 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 it's overcome, and that story and that Loma is, is, is so strong. I will hide my face. You know, a, a double covering, double wrapping. But can Ikea Takona Matiko Raka Dadirha? The only Tikkun is through this way to forever search and look for Shemis Baruch. If he has died. Okay. This is what we said. You know something? Let's just keep this for tomorrow and. Let us will finish the Allah. Let's start with today. Bye bye.